Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about implementation of Boolean function using multiplexers in digital electronics course and switching theory and logic design course and digital electronics course. It is one of the important concept in the above courses. In this video, we have to solve one example problem on this topic. The given problem is implement the following Boolean function using 16 by 1 multiplexer. This is the given Boolean function f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 1, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Here, these are the input variables. So, this Boolean function contains four input variables a, b, c and d. So, sigma m means sum of min terms. So, these are the min term numbers 1, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. So, the number of input variables in the given Boolean function n is equal to 4 that are a, b, c and d. With 4 input variables, how many number of input combinations are possible? 2 power n. So, where n is 4, that is 16 possible input combinations. That 16 possible input combinations are 0 to 15. So, here each and every possible input combination can be represented in terms of 4 bits that are 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Each and every possible input combination represents 1 min term number. Okay. Whatever the min term numbers that we are given in the problem, for that min term numbers, this Boolean function can produce the output value 1. The remaining min terms, this Boolean function can produce the output value as 0. Okay. So, whatever the min terms that are present, so for that min terms, this Boolean function produce the output value as 1. Min term 1. So, here min term 1, the output of Boolean function is 1. Min term 3, the output of the Boolean function produces output 1. Min term 4, the output of the Boolean function produces as output 1. Min term 11, the output of this Boolean function produces the output as 1. Min term 12, Output is 1. Min term 13, the output is 1. Min term 14, the output of Boolean function produces output 1. Min term 15, the output of Boolean function produces the output as 1. For the remaining min terms, this Boolean pr function produces the output as 0. Okay. So, this is the given boolean function with the four input variables it produces the output as either 1 or 0 whatever the min terms that are present for that min terms this boolean function produces the output 1 for the remaining min terms this boolean function produces the output as 0 okay now we can go for the 16 by 1 multiplexer so, this is the 16 by 1 multiplexer. This 16 by 1 multiplexer contains 16 inputs. So, these are the 16 inputs 0 to 15. Total 16 inputs. Next, and it produces only one output. Hence, the name implies 16 by 1 multiplexer. This is called as enable input. This enable input can also be called as control input. It control the entire operation of the multiplexer can be done when the 
enable input e value is equal to 1. Whenever e value is equal to 0, the multiplexer does not perform its operation. So among the 16 inputs, only one input is selected. Whatever the input that is selected, that input can be sended as the output. So how only one input is selected among the 16 inputs by using selection input lines. Okay, these are the selection input lines. How many number of selection input lines required to select only one input? That can be calculated by using this formula. Number of selection inputs in 16 by 1 multiplexer. So 16 by 1 multiplexer can be represented as 2 power n into 1. So where 2 power n can be represented as 2 power 4 into 1. So here this 4 represents number of selection inputs. So therefore number of selection inputs number of selection inputs is equal to 4. Okay. That 4 selection inputs are this one, S3, S2, S1, S0. So these are the four selection input lines. So S3, S2, S1, S0. Okay. So these are the four selection inputs. By using these four selection inputs, it can produce 16 possible selection input combinations. Whatever the combination is, uh, uh, whatever the combination we are selected, the equivalent decimal input value is uh, selected. That input can be sended as the output. Okay. Here, the number of input variables in the given boolean function is equal to 4. The number of selection input values are equal to 4. Okay, this is the condition. Number of selection inputs is equal to number of input variables number of input variables so this condition must have to satisfy okay here how many number of selection input variables are there that are four s3 s2 s1 s0 how many number of input variables in the given boolean function so that are a b c d so whenever this condition is satisfied the problem it can be solved in simple manner. If this condition is not satisfied, we can go to another procedure that we are discussed in the next video. Okay. So therefore, number of selection input variable is equal to 4 and the number of input variable is also is equal to 4. Okay. Now, in this 16 by 1 multiplexer, what are the input values? These are the 16 inputs. Each and every input has a particular value. Okay. Whatever the min term numbers are present, for that min term numbers, the output of the Boolean function produces the 1. For the remaining min terms, the output value of the Boolean function is equal to 0. Okay. So here, whatever the min terms are present, for that one, the output value as 1. 1, min term 1, the output is 1. Min term 3, the output is 1. Min term 4, 1. Min term 11, 1. Min term 12, 1. Min term 13, 1. Min term 14, 1. Min term 15, 1. For the remaining min terms, 
we are substituting zero values. Okay, so here these are the inputs. How many number of inputs are there? 16 inputs are there. Each and every input can contain a particular value. What is that value? Whatever the Boolean function produces the output value, that value can be placed here. Okay. For min term 1, the output is, uh, we are giving 1. Min term 3, we are giving 1. Min term 4, we are giving 1. Min term 11, we are giving 1. Min term 12, we are giving 1. Min term 13, we are giving 1. Min term 14, we are giving 1. Min term 15, we are giving 1. For the remaining min terms, we are giving a 0. Okay. So, here S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 0, 0, 0, 1. What is the equivalent decimal value? 1. Okay. Now, this input can be selected. So, what is the input value? 1. The output of the Boolean, the output of the multiplexer produces 1. Okay. Next one, S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 1, 1, 1, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 15. This input is selected. This input value is 1. So that input can be sended as the output. The output of the multiplexer value is 1. Next one, S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 1, 0, 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 10. 10 means this input is selected. This input contains the value 0. So they, that value can be sended as the output. So the output of the multiplexer value is equal to 0. Okay. So whenever the number of selection input, number of selection inputs is equal to number of input variables in the given Boolean function. So simply we have to draw uh, 16 by 1 multiplexer. We have to mention 4 selection inputs. Here we have to mention 0 to 15, 16 possible input combinations. Whatever the min terms are present, for that min terms giving the input value as a 1 and uh, the remaining min terms we are given input value as 0. Okay. These values are the outputs of the Boolean function. Okay. Whatever the min terms are present, for that min terms the output of the Boolean function 1. For the remaining min terms the output of the Boolean function produces 0. So, in this way, we have to implement given Boolean function using 16 by 1 multiplexer. So, thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please forward this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Please click on the bell icon after subscribing my YouTube channel, Dilbera Srinivasra, to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Dilbera Srinivasra. Thank you, thank you one and all. Next, we have to go for another example problem. If the number of input variables is not equal to the number of selection inputs, then what is the procedure we have to follow that can be discussed in the next video. Thank you.